I'm Rosanna and today I'm going to show you how to make this soft leather clutch bag complete with removable wrist strap and zip tassel. The kit is available on my website and all the materials you need are in there. The kit includes pre-cut leather pieces for the front and back of the purse, zip end tabs, wrist strap, D-ring loops and a tassel piece, a 10 inch brass YKK zip, interfacing fabric, lining fabric, two D-rings, one rivet for the strap, clasp for the strap, spatula, sandpaper and downloadable instructions and templates. The other requirements are a cutting mat, an iron and ironing board, marker pen, rotary hole punch, rubber mallet, masking tape, scalpel and rotary cutter, metal ruler, rivet tools, lighter or matches, contact glue, pins and bulldog clips, small pliers and of course a sewing machine and thread. A domestic machine with leather needles is fine. Please note the kit is offered with a choice of leather and lining colours. Just select your choice when placing your order. Step 1. Download and print out the instructions. There is a copy of the templates for future use but the leather pieces in the kit are all cut to size. Please note, you could use upcycled leather as shown in this tutorial instead of that supplied in the kit. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using a back panel of a jacket. The front and back pieces measure 32 centimeters wide by 30 centimeters long. The interfacing is cut to the same size with a one centimeter gap at the top. It is ironed onto the back of the leather to create thickness and strength as jacket leather can be very thin. I have allowed for a one centimeter seam allowance around the sides and base of the bag. Step two, once the interfacing is ironed onto the front and back panels, mask off the top two centimeters with masking tape and apply contact adhesive and leave to go tacky for five minutes. Pull away the tape as soon as the glue has been applied as the glue becomes rubbery and can stick to the tape. Then, carefully fold the top side over, pressing down firmly to create a neat folded edge. This is your zip edge. Step 3. Collect the zip and two 4cm square leather pieces. Apply glue to the back of the squares in a thin and even layer and to both zip ends, front and back. Allow to dry, then fold the end tabs around the two zip ends up to the metal hardware and press firmly. Next, stitch across the tabs 5mm from the cut edge to secure in place. Step 4. Pin the zip across the top of the lining fabric, top side up. Sew the zip tape to the lining fabric along the top edge, reversing at each end to secure the stitch. Now apply a length of tape along the back of the zip and then press the back panel onto the tape about 3mm from the zip teeth and press down onto the tape. Now stitch this in place, sewing three millimeters from the edge of the leather fold. Repeat for the other side. Step five, take one of the D-rings and one of the six by one centimeter strips of leather and feed this through the D-ring. Apply glue to each end, allow to dry and fold together. On the front of the leather front and back panels, scratch a one by one centimeter square 10 centimeters down from the zip edge on the left corner to create a key for the glue. Then apply some glue. After five minutes, add the D-ring tab with the cut edges pointing outwards. Open the zip and fold right sides together of the leather and fabric and clip together with the bulldog clips or similar. Step six, sew a big U-shape from the corner of the fabric lining around the leather back up the other side, leaving a gap across the bottom of the lining. Sew one centimetres in from the edge. Always test the leather on your machine first. Step seven, bagging out. This is the best bit. Trim the corners of the leather to reduce bulk, then pull the lining over the top of the bag so the right sides are facing out. Use your fingers to carefully push out the corners. Once it is fully turned out, fold the lining edges inside by one centimeter and pin together. Top stitch along the edge to seal the lining. Remember to back stitch at the start and end of your stitch. 
Step 8. Take the strip of leather for your wrist strap. Check you're happy with the length. It needs to be folded in half with a 2 to 3 cm overlap at one end. Cut down if need be. Mark the overlap with a pen and punch through a 3mm diameter hole with the hole punch. Add the clasp, then add the rivet and press together with a rivet press if you have one or a rubber mallet will do. Step 9. Optional tassel. To make the tassel, take the 12 by 14 cm piece of leather and apply a strip of masking tape across the top edge. This needs to be 2 cm from the top edge and stick it to the mat. Using a sharp scalpel and ruler, cut strips downwards from the tape about 5 mm wide, all the way along to create a fringe effect. Now roll the top edge around the tab like you're making a Swiss roll and mark where the leather finishes. Unroll and scratch the left part of the line along the top edge and both sides of the tab and apply glue to both areas as well as all the way along the back of the top edge. Leave to go tacky then roll the tab in the top of the tassel as tightly as possible. Clip the top with a bulldog clip and leave to dry for a few minutes. To join the tassel to the zip ball, open the D-ring with two pairs of pliers, thread through and close up again. Alternatively, use a small split ring, this will be easier and can be removed more easily. Your bag is now complete. Please visit my website for more details about kits and tutorials.